A highly anticipated change of command ceremony between the US and Russia has taken place on the International Space Station. Despite mounting tensions between the two nations, NASA has repeatedly reaffirmed that it continues to work closely with Russian space agency Roscosmos. Space landings are always tense. Touchdown. An explosion Touchdown cushions confirmed. the Soyuz capsule's impact after falling from 250 miles up. But if you were looking for evidence of the collapse of US-Russian relations over Ukraine, you weren't going to find it in this scene. U.S. astronaut Mark van der Heij all smiles after nearly a year in space with Russian colleagues, even a welcome message from Russian Mission Control near Moscow. After the invasion, eyes turned upward to the International Space Station to see how the U.S., Russian and German crew were coping with the crisis. Publicly, at least, it was beneath them. People uh, have problems on Earth, on orbit. Uh, we are like... Uh, we are yeah, not like, we are one crew, and I think uh, ISS is like symbol of the friendship and cooperation and, uh, our, and like symbol of future of exp exploration of space. The arrival of a Russian replacement crew in what appeared to be Ukrainian colours caused a flurry of speculation, but quickly was dismissed by Roscosmos, the Russian space agency, as total coincidence. But back on Earth, things are falling apart. The two sides were going separate ways for a number of years, long before Ukraine. I would say it started probably with Georgia in 2008 and accelerated with Crimea in 2014. And now it's a you know, fast-moving train, essentially. The damage is already done, and damage is extremely extensive beyond uh, human space flight, right? Be beyond the International Space Station. The ISS must endure for now. Without modification, it can't stay in orbit without both US and Russian modules. But the ultimate fate of the 22-year, $150 billion collaboration was probably sealed when Vladimir Putin invaded Ukraine. Undocking confirmed. Tom Clark, Sky News.